going to talk a little bit about breathing and give you a few exercises to practice throughout the week. These are things that are essential to scoliopilates and understanding your scoliosis better. Um, so first I'm just going to talk a little bit about why breath is so important. Our diaphragm muscle, um, it acts not only as a breathing muscle, a muscle of respiration, but it also acts as a spinal stabilizer. It helps to stabilize our pelvic floor and it also helps to stabilize our spine. So if we are using our diaphragm effectively, we create a natural brace for our spine or uh, for our body. Now, the reason that breathing is so important with scoliosis is you can actually change the shape of your rib cage just by purely using your breath. And a good simulation for that is to use a ball that is flattened on one side. So if you think of a ball or a balloon that has an indented space there and you use your breath to fill in that space, it expands and pushes out to the side. So it creates more of a symmetrical appearance of the ball balloon, whatever we're talking about. And the same goes for the concave area, the hollow spaces of our rib cage with the scoliosis. So when we talk about breathing, we have our top to bottom breath. That happens a side to side breath and a front to back breath. So just to get started, you can sit on a chair. Um, I'm sitting up on two yoga blocks and it helps to put my hips in a better position than if I'm sitting flat on the floor. I have a lot of tightness in my hips so it's hard for me to get into that upright position. And if you know your hip rotation, um, you want to cross the leg in front opposite of the hip that likes to live forward. So for me, my right hip likes to live forward, so I cross my left leg in front to help balance my pelvis. And you should be able to see that pretty easily, okay? And the next thing you wanna do is just make sure that your hips are equally pressing into the surface that you're sitting on. So we're going to begin with the top to bottom breath okay and before we get started with that i want you to make sure that your bowl and your bell are level so you want to make sure that you're not tipping your bowl backwards or tipping the bowl forward and same with the bell you want to have those lines nice and level as possible with each other before we get started you're going to inhale and reach the arms overhead, lifting the ribs out of the waist without pushing them forward. And then exhale, lower the arms without sinking the ribs back into the waist. And inhale again. Exhale. We're going to start with an inhale for a count of four and an exhale for a count of four. So inhale, two, three, and four. And exhale, two, three, four, maintaining that nice lift. And now one more time for a count of four. And exhale. Good, inhale. Now we're going to do two more if it's comfortable and okay for you. 
We're going to try to do a count of six each way. So inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Maintain that length, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, two, three, four, five, six. Lifting the ribs, keeping the ribs out of the waist. Job, go ahead and shake it out. Pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to do that side to side breath, that wide breath. And if you know where your concave ribs are, you're going to try to breathe out into the side of those concave ribs. So we're going to start again with a count of four. Make sure that you're lifting the ribs out of the waist before you even begin. And inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, try to keep that nice concavity open. Two, three, four. Inhale. And exhale. Making sure that they're not falling back in. So my concave space is over here on my left. I'm allowing it to expand out to the left and trying to keep it expanded on my exhale. And one more time, see if you can get up to a count of six. And exhale, keep it expanded, keep it open, open, open. Good, go ahead and give it a little shake out. Okay, now the final breath we're going to work, work on is the front to back breath. So if you know where your concave ribs are, front to back, I want you to place your hands there. If you have a kyphosis where your chest is caved in and forward, you want to focus on that front breath for your kyphosis in addition to your concave ribs, okay? So my primary concavity, my thoracic concavity is on my left side. So I have my left hand back behind my left ribs. And then for every action, there is an equal reaction. So I also have another concavity at the front of my right ribs, okay? So if you know where your concavities are, I want you to place your hands there. And on your inhale, you're going to do that front to back breath for a count of four each way. So on your inhale, and exhale, two, three, four, keeping those concave spaces open. And again, See if you can work up to a count of six, keeping your neck relaxed, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Inhale. One more time. like you to practice this once a day um, and 
even if you think about it throughout the day, if you're sitting at work at your desk, think about that top to bottom breath, side to side breath, and front to back breath. Do each of those two times. You can do them longer if you have the time for it and try to work your way up to a longer and longer breath as long as you're not getting dizzy um, or feeling any other symptoms. I hope that you found this helpful and have a good day.